What's up, YouTube? And I'm back with another video about the Lakers 2K ratings. Now, we're going to go from point guard to center, and we're going to start with Ray John Rondo. And as you can see, Ray John Rondo is a 79 overall. And I actually like that rating because I feel like he should have been an 80, actually, because in the playoffs, he played very well. And 2K puts in playoff performance as a big emphasis on how they do their ratings. Next, we have KCP, Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's a 76, which is blasphemy. Contavious Caldwell Pope is a top 15 shooting guard in the NBA, in my opinion. And I think he should at least been a 79 to like an 81 overall, just based off he's a 3 and player. And he played very good the second half of the season. But 2K doesn't watch like a game, so I understand. Now we have Lee LeBron James, 98 overall, and I fully expect this to be a 98 overall. You know, best player in the league, had a great playoff. He's also the cover athlete of this year, ultimate or whatever enhanced edition of the game. And 2K really rates LeBron really high on a lot of 2K, so I have no problem with this. They couldn't mess this one up. But the thing I noticed is they put LeBron James at small forward and Brandon Ingram at power forward. I don't know who does the lineups in 2K, but they need to look at Laker games and see what actually works. And this the one I'm really mad about is Brandon Ingram's rating. 82 is not bad of a rating, but when compared to his counterparts and his peers, it's extremely low. Jason Tatum received 87 overall, and Brandon Ingram averaged more points, rebounds, and assists. And I know the whole game is not about who can have the best all-around stats, but you have to put that in that account. Even somebody like Jalen Brown, who's a toss-up between who's the better player, he's an 84 overall, and Brandon Ingram still averaged more points, rebounds, and assists. Shot better from the field, shot better from three. And Brandon Ingram's jump shot in 2K is really clunky, so it doesn't really go in. And they got him at power forward, which is dumb, because Brandon Ingram is not that big of a player to play power forward. He's a good rebounder, but LeBron James is the obvious power forward in this situation. And one player I do want to discuss is D'Angelo Russell rating. He's an 83 overall, and Brandon Ingram is an 82. Even though Brandon Ingram did everything better across the board, and he played more games, he shot way better from the field and three-point range on a better team, and they still gave him one point more than Brandon Ingram. Some of the players that they don't show in the ratings is Kyle Kuzma and Lonzo Ball. If you look to the left of the screen, you kind of can see the second string, and it looked like Kyle Kuzma is the 79 overall, which is dumb. I think he should be at least an 82, and Brandon Ingram should be an 84 overall. And they look more to the left at the top. You can see Lonzo Ball, it says a 7. He's probably a 77 overall, which is really, really stupid on 2K's part. I really thought Lonzo Ball was going to be 80 overall because the rookies are kind of high rated in this game. So I think he's better than most of the rookies in the draft. So I don't know what 2K was thinking with this decision. JaVale McGee rating is perfect for me. I don't have no really problem with it, no pro, no con with it. So they really underrated the whole young court in the situation. They really only got LeBron's rating right and Ray Rondo and JaVale McGee. KCP rating is too low. Josh Hart is probably like a 77 if you look closer to the left. Comment below what you think the Laker rating should be. You know, I feel like they did them dirty on this one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm out. Peace.